And today's unstable weather is taking its toll on events in the city. The King's Plate, Canada's oldest and most prestigious thoroughbred race, was supposed to run this evening, but has now been cancelled along with the rest of today's live racing card. Our David Zura joins us live now from Woodbine Racetrack with the disappointing news. David, you were heading down there to cover today's events and then a change happening. What went, what happened here? Uh, kind of like you just said, it was a great big change of plans brought down by the skies. You know, when we first arrived, it was a fairly nice day. And then around, you know, the early afternoon, we started to see these waves of rain that just wouldn't stop. You get a break that would maybe last for a couple of minutes. And then you start to walk across the parking lot. And by the time you've walked across the parking lot, heavy rain is already starting to come back. And that kept up for a solid four hours, effectively postponing this race. And, you know, you look around now, uh, the parking lot is starting to taper out a little bit. You can see people filing out of the building. Not everybody's, you know, throwing their hands up and leaving the party just yet, but there are no races here. Uh, staff telling us the reality is this was about safety and they had to make the call. You know, we're in constant contact with the um, Alcohol Gaming Commission of Ontario. They're the ones that regulate horse racing and the veterinarians, of course. So if they tell us it's too dangerous to go, then it's too dangerous to go. All that heavy weather coming in at about 1.30. The mood at the racetrack still upbeat for hours as waves of rain and wind rolled through the area. I mean, yeah, we got rained on a little bit today, but we managed to get under this tent. We're having a great time. Grab this, grab this. All the way from Detroit, baby. <laughs> You're from Detroit? I'm from Detroit. But as the afternoon went on, the water kept pouring in. Staff and guests still visibly determined to plow on through. At one point, the heavy wind ripping one of the tents from its footings, setting it loose during the storm in the parking lot. These two men caught on camera wrangling the debris by hand in the middle of the storm. So stent flies from here to over there. So we, we went, I went fast over there to catch the tent. And the heavy rain we have to hold over there at 15 minutes at least. Honestly, I was scared like uh, because the wind was really very high. It was really hard for me to hold that. And when we did it, uh, it really made us me proud that uh, we hold it and we saved some of cars. It's going to hit some people also. What was your strategy? It looked like you were turning it into the wind so it wouldn't catch and then kind of taking it down. So the st strategy is basically uh, we are focusing to hold it for a couple of minutes that the let the rain stops and the wind stops, then we can hold it and take it properly down. In the wake of news that the race had been postponed, still some glimmers of a good time. Phil Wizard, the Canadian break dancer who took home gold in Paris, still putting on a show. And guests like Harrison celebrating his 19th birthday sounding disappointed but understanding. I'm obviously pretty sad. Us as spectators, we must appreciate the opportunity that we were here and we enjoyed the day and we're protecting the horses and the riders for their own personal safety. Well, are you going to be here on the, the rain date? I'll be here on the rain date, yeah, I will. thing that staff here at Woodbine want us to know is that this race isn't so much canceled, it's postponed, they say in the race's history. It's never been canceled, and even this is such a rare thing that they weren't sure off the top of their heads if there's ever been a rain date necessary in the past, but they say this time there will be a rain date. They're going to gather stakeholders and have a conversation about when this race will eventually move forward. At Woodbine Racetrack, David Zura, City News.